Hello ladies, it's Penny here, Penny's Place. I'm in the kitchen at the moment. I've been uh, wrapping a few little prezzies up. Um, I made this like a very small advent. Well, not small in size, but <laughs> smaller than the number of days. Advent calendar for Chloe, my beautiful granddaughter. And I said if she kept it and everything, I'd, I'd do it, fill it again this year. So I thought I'd just I'd just show you again for anybody who might have missed it last year. I did it on a a very long old runner, a table runner, and I used I was able to just turn it um, so it had its back and its front, um, and these are the original fringe on it. This be a very long table to have that, um, <clears throat> so I added pockets. And they are actually lined. I actually, I don't know if you can see, I actually lined them as well with satin. So I was hoping that she would like and keep it because it took a long time. Anyway, so I made the pockets in different sizes um, so it accommodate different size puzzles and what have you. And then I had a great fun in uh, decorating each pocket. Uh, this one has got. Um, a ballerina on. I printed that onto fabric, and uh, I mean, I think I stuck it. I don't think it, um, I stitched that. Added some gems, as you can see. Got lovely fringy here, and some wedding appliques, uh, satin, satin velvet, and uh, gold ribbon. And I overlaid this one with a lovely pink mesh. I don't know if you can see it, so like an overlay of pink mesh I did. That was that one. This one, lots of lovely trims, and I found a butterfly, and I put two pearls on. She's kept actually in beautiful condition. Um, this is another, it's from a napkin that I, um, I think I did this on paper. I'm not, I don't, yeah, it doesn't feel like it's on, um, fabric. I think I've done this like on paper and like decoupaged it. Uh, this one I think she said, this is one of her favourites. She likes this picture here, the snowy scene. Uh, lots of little bits of um, fabric and nice roses there. This is a long one. Some, um, I'm not sure if I actually tea dyed these crochet bits or not. Um, some pink leaves and little, they're uh, pink, blue leaves and little pink. I tried to keep it in pink and like uh, pale blue turquoise colours and I think I've done that quite well. So this one is mainly tea stained um, appliques and butterflies on this one and here and there are some of these little um, toppers they come in usually on a board. So, yeah, and I finished off with um, this pocket with some more fringe and it had this fringe at the bottom. So it worked out really well, this this one. I just had all the right stuff. So I've, I've done all the wrapping. So, so she can have fun for uh, leading up to Christmas. Um, I mean, they're not very expensive, you know what I mean? But uh, it just makes a change from having just a chocolate, doesn't it, in each, in each one. And then on the back, if I could turn it, whoops, that's come out of the back, actually, that one. Um, hold on, let me see if I could do this. Just to show you the back. Have to excuse me, I'm holding the, holding it. So I put a dowel, a wooden dowel through the top um, and stitched some ribbon and, it, and it's, it's held very well, it's not come apart anyway. I just finished off with a little bit of wedding applique here and you can see it's just a plain table runner and then at the bottom a little secret, an extra one and that's got pesto on it as well. And, uh, and that's the present for that one. It's not for Christmas Day actually, it's just for um, Christmas Eve present. So that goes in there. 
and I'll come round and you can see it there better. So, as I say, she, she liked it last year and she's looked after it. So, uh, I, like, I, I like the fun of picking, picking little bits up for her. I mean, I had one boy, which is her dad, um, and we've had a grandson. So, uh, there's not been many little girls in my life, so it's been quite nice. She's 12 now. So, every year, of course, the presents change a little bit. So, I just thought I'd come along and just show you that. Um, <clears throat> when we were unpacking some of the Christmas decks this week, I came across this, I can remember making this, I'm not sure if it was last year or year before. And it's made from um, your old Christmas cards and then sewn in a fashion. It's not the neatest of my work, but it's quite handy to have just to put a few sweeties in or, you know, little bits and pieces. So I might make another one of these this year. They're quite fun to do quite easy so I might make another one of them so I've just had lunch Heart's made soup but I've not had soup I had chicken and salad for my for my lunch so I'll have some soup later maybe so I'm going to go upstairs now to the uh, craft room and carry on what I was doing up there and uh, just thought let's say you'd like to see this for them that haven't seen it. Chloe's little uh, advent calendar. It's, it's for a week anyway. It's, it's seven, seven pockets or eight pockets. Yeah, seven pockets on the front and one at the back. So I'll love you and leave you. And take care and thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.